Hello everybody, it is Tom Jurassic back here today and today we are diving into another Jurassic World item from Mattel. This is part of the Dino Rivals line as you can see and it is the Mega Jewel Attack Quetzalcoatlus. So this is one of the largest aerial creatures to ever exist. If we zoom in and take a look at this thing, you can see massive wings which are folded in the packaging. They're even larger out of the packaging. A couple of action feature buttons there. Really, really large beak with some interesting colours. The Dino Rival colour scheme for the packaging we've come to know and love. Quetzalcoatlus, Owen in the trike. The Dino Rivals logo with Rexy on this side. The Dino Rivals logo. On the back of the packaging, we do have a little bit of damage on this one just because it came via Amazon, so what can you expect? A little bit of damage there, but no big deal. The Quetzalcoatlus with its wings fully sprung, you can see that massive wingspan on this creature. We have got the Stegosaurus and the Suchomimus, the other Mega Jewel Attack dinosaurs, down here. The Quetzalcoatlus's card. And of course, the rest of the back of the packaging, the underside of the packaging, again, as per usual with all of Mattel's legal information, obviously upside down. Um, and then on this side, we do have that nice Jurassic World logo. If we can just get that to focus there. So really, really nice looking packaging for this toy really really great looking toy one of the most iconic aerial creatures i think to ever exist a really really uh popular creature with many many fans and many collectors and one which i'm really really excited to be taking a look at this is one of the toys that kind of fell under the radar this guy released at a time where it didn't quite make it to stores uh, but I was lucky enough to pick it up off of Amazon UK. So, without any further ado, let's get the Quetzalcoatlus out of the packaging. Okay, so here is the Quetzalcoatlus out of the packaging. And for scale's sake, straight off the bat, here is one of the Jurassic World Pteranodons next to this thing. You can see this thing dwarfs the Pteranodons and is huge. If we just bring in the card quickly to take a look at, you can see Quetzalcoatlus, good strength, pretty good on all scores, and has got that lovely Dino Rivals logo on the back. And if we bring this figure in, take a look at the beak, you can see this figure has got some astounding details. Really, really nice green striping combined with some orange stripes. Nice feathering on the quills, on the tip of the head, and a really nice, strong, and long beak, complete with pink details inside, as you can see there. All looks fantastic. Now, one of the play features is this button back here. We can press down to make the Quetzalcoatlus dip its head. So if we get that in focus again, you can see the animal just dips its head up and down, which is a cool play feature. Nice for making it kind of dive down and attack prey. So really cool. That's one play feature on this figure. Nice tan body, as you can see back there. If we can get that to focus. There we go. And you can see, I just want to hold up the wings and really take a look at them. Some really, really nice detail on the wings. That blue paint towards the end there with some streaks for it, looks fantastic. And the wings are articulated, so you can open them up or tuck them back in behind the Quetzalcoatlus if you want to get it into like a dive pose. So nice articulation on the wings. And they um, do form the second play feature, which is quite hard to demonstrate on camera because of the scale of this thing, which is the wings flapping very much like the other uh, pteranodons and aerial creatures. And the other articulation here is in the legs. A little bit loose, those joints could benefit from being tighter, but still works nicely. And again, some nice brown paint there as well. So overall, not too much to say about the Quetzalcoatlus, because, you know, at the end of the day, it is a bird. It is going to be sitting or hanging from your shelves, not doing much more. 
but as far as the bird figure goes, it has got some nice detail, some really nice paintwork, and some great details. Um, particularly here around the head and the crest. The play features are nice, and it feels like a pretty nice large aerial creature, and one which will be popular with fans of shows like Walking with Dinosaurs. In terms of the scale here, I think it's done well. Uh, I don't think it's worth the price point of 20 to £25, but if you can get this figure on sale around £15, I would recommend picking it up. It is a cool one, again, some nice paintwork and a unique species to add to your collection. I'm not going to bore you guys anymore because I don't feel like there's much more to be said. So, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please leave a like, a comment and subscribe if you want to see more of our content here. And do let us know what Mattel products you would like us to take a look at next. In the meantime guys, cheers for checking this one out. Take care as always and have a great week.